Our framework is actually really straightforward. We need modular frames and steel beams. Uh, what is this thing? Automated wiring is stator plus cable. That's pretty easy, but we don't really have any of these things close to each other. We're either going to have to do some rather long conveyor belts, or... I mean, I think that's probably what we... No, I think I would like to set up some truck stops. That would just be a little bit cooler. So all we need is stators plus cable and modular frame plus steel beam. The only thing we haven't automated already is stator, but that requires bringing steel pipe to, uh, to I'm blanking on the word, uh, to cable, to wire rather. So we'll have a... I don't suppose it's possible in this game to make sure... Is actually really straightforward. What? We need modular frames and steel beams. What? Uh, Where... Automated wiring is... OBS, go home, you are drunk. Also, uh, Avipa, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. I think there was a couple of other things besides the space elevator to chip away at. I should go and pick up that quartz by now, I think. Or maybe I should wait until we get the report that it's run out of power. That way, I know there'll be lots of it. There should be lots of it already, though. Um, I probably should have set up some automation to turn it into... What's crystal, though? Maybe I should just go do that now. We also need... We don't have refineries yet. Oh, in case it's steel beam. That's what I should be doing while I'm still here. Um, assembler. We require concrete and steel beam. There's concrete being produced a little distance away over there. Um, I don't suppose there's some limestone nearby because I don't really... I don't want to have spaghetti belts covering the entire planet this time. That is limestone. Let's go get it. Gonna need a uh, portable miner. Simple enough. And we'll have to get some power over here. I don't remember making that power pole, but... Well, actually, I think I'll move it over this way a bit. And then we need a constructor. This is a normal... Oh god, nope, nope, nope. That was way too close. Uh, normal node of limestone gives us 60 per minute. This will be 45, I think. Obviously, if I use two of them, that's too much. Uh, we could do a minor mark too. Does it matter how fast I go here? It might. Well, we'll need the encased steel beams before we can upgrade it anyway. So let's just do this for now. And concrete. 
concrete will have to go all the way up here somewhere. I think we can just do a diagonal belt. whatsoever. Let's think about where we're going to put our assembler. So we need concrete plus steel beam. Um, I don't suppose I can gracefully get this belt out this way. I could maybe bring it up here. I should just move that power pole. But yeah, concrete's gonna come down this way, I think. assembler. What is that lining up with? The awesome sink. That doesn't make any sense. I should probably move this back a bit so that there's going to be room for storage. And I think I'll just spaghetti this out here for now. I guess we need another one of these. Why is that too steep? It's just barely too steep. I guess we could put a lift here. This looks worse. That's fine. Just want to get it working for the moment. I don't like that when you try to do a slide jump and the hill is ever so slightly too steep. Um, it basically stops you entirely. Let me put this over here. There's our concrete. How much concrete do we actually need? For one machine to go full speed. Uh, 30 per minute. I don't think we're going to approach that. 24 steel beam per minute. We're doing that quite easily. It was 30 per minute, was it? Concrete? 30 per minute. Uh, this does not look like 30 per minute. This is half of that. So we need 90 per minute coming in. We're getting 100 and... We're getting 60. We could 50% overclock this thing, or we could just upgrade it as soon as we get a few. We just need 10 uh, industrial steel beams. Encased industrial beams. Yeah. 6 per minute. So that is a couple of minutes if we were getting concrete at full speed. Let's donate some concrete for now. And we'll check back in a couple of minutes. Uh, we're still working towards our next coupon. That's a bit surprising. Oh, right. We stopped putting 
anything in here. That makes sense. Um, we're about 10% of the way to filling this thing. And nowhere near filling uh, the storage container for steel beams, unsurprisingly. Once we get some Mark II miners going, that's going to change the game for steel production. I just want to double check. We were bottlenecked on... 120 per minute. We might need double belts for this once we upgrade the miner. I should have uh, built the double ba uh, double belts to start with. This will be 240 per minute. Uh, tier 3 does 270 if I recall correctly. Okay, cool. So 240 per minute without an overclock. Which means... I think I'm going to have to build more... Foundries. Wait, don't go that way. Uh, let's see. 45, 90, 180 per minute. Currently we're getting 120. If we don't add any more foundries, we're looking at a 50% increase in throughput. Uh, that means we could do one of these two steel products at full speed and one of them at 50% speed at the same time. Um, maybe I could make this a smart splitter and we can focus on steel beams first, but then it would have to completely fill before we get anything, and the fact that we're sinking it means we would never make any steel pipe. So I guess we'll leave this as it is for now. So both resources until something un until something is backed up uh, both of these will be going at 75% speed since we're bottlenecking the final output to 60 per minute that means half if everything is getting backed up, only half of what goes into these would be getting sunk, which means we would end up getting full speed uh, steel beam production eventually. So yeah, we just need to get some encased beams and get some Mark II miners. A Royal PS2K. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Feeling better? Yeah, for the most part. Just have to be a little careful with how I'm speaking to not want to cough or anything, but other than that, I'm feeling fine. Um, we'll, we're going to need a another portable miner to upgrade this thing. And then... Minor Mark II. Oh. It's gonna... It's gonna force me to get two miners, and then it's gonna give one back, isn't it? Yep. That's a little bit cringe. But... Now we're getting 120 limestone per minute. Uh, we're going to need another constructor. And we'll need to split and merge. 
luckily, actually I shouldn't have got rid of that belt. We can add a splitter to an existing belt just like this. Did I? Okay. Please face this direction. And then... I'll just demonstrate what I could have done here in the first place. Merger goes here, looking extremely neat. Um, and I'm pretty sure we're not going to need a tier 2 belt for this one. 30 per minute total. We also need to power it. And give it a recipe. There we go. So that is 30 concrete per minute, which should keep our industrials, uh, encased industrial beams going at full speed. Yep. And now we can start upgrading the other miners. I don't know if we're going to need to upgrade any of the iron miners for this. 45. It's 8. 8 times 30. 240 per minute. We've got 90, 180 per minute. So we only need to upgrade the uh, coal miner. Oops. And for that we will need... Well, actually, if I delete it first, then we can just make one more portable miner. Not enough space in inventory. That's actually correct some limestone. Oh. Uh. Whoops. Oh no, don't tell me. That is a portable miner. I just made... I just made an extra one after going to that trouble not to. Oh well. Let's pick up these floating boxes. And minor mark two. Where's the belt? Over here. And we want a tier three belt. Give it some power. 240 per minute. Fantastic. And that should be it. Definitely enough. Cool. Meanwhile, this whole thing is stopped. Uh, do we have power? I didn't think we'd run out of coal that quickly. Apparently we did. Okay then. See the coal arriving now? It should be not quite saturated in that belt. 
Yeah, that looks about right. Although there's kind of a weird wavy pattern to it. That looks very strange. Fantastic. So I guess we're not getting any tokens for a while, but um, once it happens, it should be at a decent pace. We also need to bring... Uh, which way should we do it? We could bring modular frames over here to make versatile framework. I guess we could schedule one truck to make two different routes. And if we bring... Uh, we need to bring pipe and wire together to make stator, and then we need to bring stator and cable together. That's um, slightly annoying. Wire and cable are in the same place. If we bring steel pipe and... No, it's just steel pipe. Right? Yeah, if we bring steel pipe to where the copper is, we can do all of that in one place. And for this one, we just need to bring one product or the other to one spot. Okay. Let's do the easy one first. Um, I guess we'll do a truck stop. Where is truck stop? Transportation, as opposed to logistics. Where should I do it? Right about here seems not great really. I want to have plenty of room for the truck to do its thing. Also, we need the steel. We could split it from here. I think it would be wise to build this out a bit. Unless we want to put it down there. That seems fine. Except we need coal for fuel. Um, we will be overproducing coal, so we can just split that off and belt it down there. Might be a good idea to do a priority split, maybe. We're actually already... Uh, we're already um, backed up on coal. We're producing 60 per second more, uh, 60 per minute more than we need. So I think it'll be fine to just split it off normally. It's not going to take very long. To just accumulate and back up. If we want to be pedantic, we could turn that into a smart splitter. Actually, let's do... I'll also... Actually, all I have to do is make this a tier 1 belt. Yeah, that's actually the perfect split. And then this goes over here and runs into trees. Maybe I will make it go over this way. Heinche, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How many hours do you have in this game? Um, I don't know. Let's have a look. 
Uh, 191, actually. I played it for a while, quite a while ago. I explored most of the map. That alone takes a while. Okay, so we're going to have plenty of fuel. Uh, we need some power. That was easier than expected. And this is going to be a loading station. We'll need a tractor. I need five beacons for some reason. Tractor goes... It won't let me build the tractor inside where the truck stop is. But that's okay. Give it a little fuel. Oops. Oh, I'm wearing a Santa hat. That's nice. Cool. And then move it into place before we get started with the AI recording. And we need to give it some steel. So I just want to check the rate on this thing, but I'm pretty sure 24 steel beams per minute. The max rate that we produce over here is 45, I believe. Yeah. So a 50-50 split should actually be totally fine. Um, I'm not going to just jam it onto this thing, though. Let's do a splitter. Right about here. I guess I'll do it like this. And this. That's no good. Why don't we get rid of this one? Not do it like that. I'll do a lift here. That's pretty good. And then this will go down there. Need a combine harvester? Combine Harvester? Is that a reference to that song? Alright, so we got our coal and steel coming in here. Now we just need a place to take the steel to. Yes, it is. Yeah, I thought so. I don't remember that song very well, but I remember the feel of it. That makes sense. And I will give you the key. Now I remember it. <laughs> now I remember it. That's all it took. It's weird how human memory works. I log in in yesterday and these presents surprised me. Yeah, they surprised me as well, that's for sure. One of them actually kind of startled me a little, because it fell in the trees behind me and made like a, a thump noise. We could do... it would have been pretty easy to just belt that over here, but we could do a truck stop here and then manufacture the final product right at the space elevator. It seems like a good precedent to set for how to do things later on when it gets more complicated. So why don't we have a look into it? Well, there's not that much room here. There kind of is. Nah, I feel like... 
Well, the other product has to travel a while as well. I just wish there was a way in this game to have two products going to one truck stop and they're not just gonna... You know, they're not just gonna overflow one product as opposed to the other. There's nothing like circuit wire in this game, right? Transportation, truck stop. Oh, I'm missing the very product that we have to bring together. Let's go get some. I could probably have the one truck get fuel and steel over there, come over here to get cubes, and then like drop off all the steel here, pick up the cubes. I'm sure you can't have a truck, sta a truck station be both a pickup and a drop off. But we could just do two truck stations here. Let's turn on that. Uh... Why is it? Oh, that's. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Or I didn't realize. I kind of noticed with a different. That's a convenient time to run out of concrete. That middle product taking ages to produce as I get enough steel beams fast enough. Yeah, there's always a bottleneck. And all you can ultimately do is shift it around. Oops. Okay, let's maybe put a couple of truck stations here. Let's get some height so we can get a better view of this. That's not a ladder. This is a ladder. Never a convenient time to run out of concrete. But I was literally right next to the container full of concrete. And higher. Welcome, welcome. So, hope you're doing well. Um, or maybe put the truck stop. Does that actually... No, of course not. Nothing takes up an even number of foundations. Or an integer, rather. So we'll put this one here. And... This one here. Have you found the calendar yet? Yes, I have. That was cute. Haven't even looked for it yet? Looked for what? Um... So steel beams are gonna come out of here. And... Oh, we're not gonna be picking up the cubes here. We're gonna be picking up... Um... The final product for the space elevator. So we'll need another assembler. Where is it going to fit, though? Oh, this might work, kind of. Except then the truck stop. Can we do it like this? Probably not. I mean, yes, it's, it'll technically be clipping, but it's clearly not. So let's move these for now. We'll start with where the assembler's going to go. Um, I would like this belt to line up. 
with the new assembler. Maybe we could tighten it up a bit if we use a lift. That seems pretty good. We don't technically need this much clearance, but I think it's okay. Actually, that's quite good. That's really good. And the other product, steel, is going to come from here somewhere. Now we try to figure out where our truck stops are going to fit. That should be pretty good. Why is that too close? I can't see what it is supposedly... Oh, it thinks it's colliding with like this or something. Oh well. I think we'll want to fit it over here anyway. And then we need room for that output to go to the other truck stop. Well, let's try it like this, I guess. It's kind of hard to see from here how that's going to look. That's pretty good. Which one's the output? Here we go. Can we make this nice and neat? That looks okay. And then put this one... If we put this here... Can we find a way to neatly get this over here? Probably. Maybe like this. Kind of hard to see if they're the same height. And not. That's not too bad. That looks quite reasonable. Okay. So we don't need fuel here. Um, the truck that's going to follow this path is going to be picking fuel up at a different station. Uh, this one is going to be unload, and this one should be unload by default. Nice. Now we need to give them some power. Uh, this wire is going to need improvement. Is that going to... We're going to need a tier 2 power pole, but that's okay. That doesn't look unreasonable. Alright. I think all that remains is to set up the truck route. That's sweet. That have added reefs to power poles. Yeah, it's cute. As long as it's soft clipping, not much of a problem unless it triggers OCD. Yeah, I think this is fine right here. That actually looks entirely reasonable. Okay. So we unload and then we load. Obviously, this machine is not going to produce all the versatile framework 
frameworks the first time the vehicle comes here, but that's okay. Um, I guess we'll use that ramp over there. We might have to change it a little bit. And I don't want quite such a steep ramp. Might be a good time to unlock some uh, some different slopey foundations. But let's try... Yeah, I would really like a diagonal here now. Why don't we go see how much it costs? And we may just temporarily... Uh, change the way we're doing things with... What the? Oh, it's on zoop. <laughs> Whoops. That's not quite it. It's pretty good. Probably have a little down ramp. Right here, actually. Okay. Let me see it from this angle, if I do this. It's a little steep, but I think that's fine, actually. Should be no trouble to drive the truck up this. And then once it gets here, turn around. Two meter. Oh, I'm on zoop mode. I should probably use it. There we go. And it should be no trouble to path it back where it needs to go. Okay. Let's just scout out our... ...route. This part might be a little bit of a problem. Now we'll just follow these ones. Put something to mark where we're going to turn right. The rest should be pretty straightforward. It takes a few steps to set up, but I definitely like this a lot better than having spaghetti belts crossing the entire map. Even though the spaghetti belts are technically better. That doesn't look very good. Okay, how much steel do we have? Almost... Almost 600 already. Oh, and there goes another present. Okay, how do we do autopilot again? Press X to load cargo into tractor. Not until we start the record. Start recording. Loading? I feel like it was already loaded before that animation did anything. That's okay. Whoops. Bit of a hard right turn there. Um, can these things collide with each other? when they're on autopilot. I guess we'll find out. 
Or I could try to avoid that from, uh, keep that from happening. This shouldn't be too difficult. to go down there. Oh, I don't know if I want to record the AI. Okay, I'm curious now. I wonder if the AI will eventually run over that um, fruit. Almost there. Looking at it now, this is a little bit tight. But no, that's not too difficult. Unload. Unloading. Good. Fantastic. And load. There shouldn't be anything to load yet, but I guess we'll do the animation anyway. And then back to where we started. Probably they won't collide with each other, but I would prefer to avoid crossing that path if I can. This looks a bit easier. Whoa, okay. to the right this time, so we can have room to turn around. And load cargo. Path recorded. Enable autopilot. Nice. Okay, so that should be... Wait. Did I just do what I think I did? Uh, I think I just told it to bring the finished product back here instead of to the space elevator. <laughs> Apart from that, it was a complete success. Okay. I'll just let it do its thing for a while, and we'll manually deliver some of that stuff. Um, and I'll put a truck stop at the space elevator, that it can drop off on the way back. Actually, that one's a loading station, so are we just going to end up with... Are we just going to end up with more and more of those final products in the in the truck I guess I should probably set this up properly now anyway let's do the truck stop over this way it's flatter and it won't cross the paths. I don't really think we need foundations for this one. I need some rotors. I think we might have a few over here, but there's far more of them back at the, the main iron base. Oh, we've got a stack. That's good. Oh, 
Okay. So we could just put it where we want the truck to go back and forth anyway. Is it really blocked by that bird? I think it is. Okay then. That's kind of encroaching on the other truck's path a little bit, but we can just go over it quite easily. What? Is it confused? What? Why are you stopping here? Oh, you're trying to get loaded? No? Wait, let me look at the inventory. Give me that. Thank you. Okay, final product goes in here. Um, don't know why that would be considered clipping, but it's not a problem. We will need to give it some power. Oh. Thank you. Where's the nearest power pole? That'll do. So this is a unload. And we need to... We need to find our truck and completely remove its uh, AI and start again. Unfortunate. Can I just... Yep. Inventory is a little bit full. That's just coal though, we don't need to worry about that. Okay, let's try this again. Wait, did I set that one to load or unload? Can I fix it while we're driving? Sort of? I hope so. Um, I need to empty my inventory a little bit. Okay, we're fine. An overloaded inventory. What madness is this? Just the usual kind? Alright, so... Start recording. Load. I don't know if I actually have to wait here, but... I'd rather not find out that I had to the hard way. Off to the space elevator. Do not run that over. Maybe I should make a ramp over there. And I guess we're going to find out if the truck ran over the, uh, uh, the fruit tree. Looks okay. I would still rather do it this way, this time. It's really struggling. There we go. Okay. Unload.
I could foresee a problem with this route whereby maybe we don't unload all of the steel and things get a little bit weird. Depending on the rate of consumption of the steel compared to how much is getting put in the uh, in the truck stop. If we're bottlenecking on the steel as an input for the final product, then it shouldn't be a problem. So we actually want the bottleneck to be there. I kind of uh, autopiloted through the loading, the unloading and loading just there, so I hope it's correct. So now we want to unload. And then back to the start to do it all again. Also, Skashman, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. You can now save it to where? Oh, I see. Uh, let's set you on autopilot. Wait, you didn't pick up any steel. I, I don't think it picked up any steel. Can I keep its inventory without making it stop? Hopefully we don't fall through the planet again. Come back. Okay, it's got no inventory. I just have to follow it for one cycle, make sure it's working. I should make some explosives now that I've got them as well. There's a few places to explore. also find out if the truck on AI has any trouble getting up here. I don't think it will. I think they basically fly. thought that was a giant spider for a second there. Oh. It's struggling a little bit, but it got here. Okay, so here we have... Well, we're consuming the steel. That won't be a problem this time. And here we have final product. Can't move this window around. Final product is... Getting picked up. The nanosecond the truck comes in range, actually. And then it does this animation just to pretend. So we just have two more stops to witness. I could have sworn when I recorded the path, I loaded the truck right after starting the cycle. But then when I put the truck on autopilot, it didn't load anything. I really hope I don't have to record this whole thing again. Oop. 
What would happen if uh, one of those presents got in the way? Probably nothing. Good, that's our final product. And just one more thing to, to see working. Hello, Big Bird. I didn't realize that there was limestone here. It's in a very similar spot to that one. Oh, it's going faster than I expected. Okay, we have... 257, 58, 59, and it picked up. Okay, cool. It's working. Fantastic. So now we just have one more production chain to automate. Um, I didn't even check, but luckily we did those in the correct order because we only need a hundred of the automated wiring. So we need to bring... Uh, steel pipe to our copper production line. Prados Soto, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What does that gift do? Uh, it gives you Fixmas gift, which you need for researching uh, the holiday event. Which unlocks some... I think it's just cosmetic things. Um, like... Where's our man? Uh, you can get a basher that looks like the... It looks like a candy cane. Um, some bows. I think those are just like intermediate products. There's also... Uh, some trees. No worries. I'm not sure exactly if I'm going to try to avoid the vehicles' paths crossing each other, which I strongly sus uh, suspect does not matter in the slightest. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the path is going to be for this one. There's a giant present sitting on our destination. Okay, so right about here-ish. It's actually the same place. I think we'll just use the same paths. Um, so we need a drop-off for... A steel pipe. That's ever so slightly upset. Oh, I can't afford it. That's the problem. That's easily solved. And I think we can now put our truck station here. Yeah, that should be fine. If I put it here, we should be able to do the inputs pretty easily, or the output rather. So this is going to be a unload station, uh, and we're going to be picking up, or rather, the vehicle is going to be dropping off. steel pipe and then we're going to want to put that and cable no we need cable and stator but for stator we need the steel pipe okay so just roughly that's our final product cable is here um, that's a little bit awkward. Why don't we just add one? Am 
Well, I shouldn't connect this up yet. It's all sort of tentative. Stator would go in here. That doesn't look right. That gave me a blue. That is not considered clipping. It's a little weird. Uh, so that's our automated wiring. This one is stator. And we need wire and steel pipe. Wire is way back here. We might need to add a little something to bring that through. What about this? I actually like that. Although it, those machines will probably clip through it. How about we do it nice and high up? This is going to be too steep easily. So we do a lift. That's the wrong direction. Uh, what if I connect this first, then do a lift like this, and then connect this here. That looks perfectly safe with that uh, wire. Nothing weird about that. And that lines up pretty well with our other product. Okay. Can we do another lift here, maybe? Not really, kind of. If this goes here... And I think we should move the truck station a bit. There's plenty of room. So then we put our assembler maybe here. I do wish that would let me... Hold on a sec, I think I can do it. Conveyor pole. Like so. Yeah, that's good. I am thoroughly confused, much like when I first started watching Factorio. A hey, King Fnab. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. You're doing well. And how am I going to connect this one? Um, that might actually be a problem. Unless... That looks like it could appear to be reasonable, hypothetically. Why can't I place this one? Okay, how about... How about this? Get rid of that, get rid of that. This one goes here. And then this goes here. Cool. So that is our wire input for stators. And then we just need stator plus cable, which we've got.
these two inputs right here. I think uh, we could just move this back this way. So that'll go there, and this will not work very well. Much better. Me too, I have a small clue what is going on, but unless Coffee Stain will ever make a Mac version of the game, all I can understand is the concept. Um, yeah, it's really just... I mean, the production chains are, so far, a bit simpler than Factorio. Really just building on combining one thing into another into a, another, for the most part. So this is cable and stator. This is stator. This requires power. This requires power. And this is power. Can we maybe find a good spot to connect that stuff? I think we'll connect the other ones on a different power pole. Let's upgrade this one. And just bring this over here. Uh, that looks safe. It's fine. This is an exploration game, right? Definitely part of it. Um, that's something that I had no idea was coming the first time I played it. And I was pleasantly surprised, honestly. So now we need another truck stop. Just like we did at the other location. We'll have the, um, we'll have the truck drop off one item and bring another. A lot of poison nearby. Yeah, that's true. What I wanted to check here as well is we're using 30 steel beam per minute. Um, the truck should be bringing, like the bottleneck where the truck is picking up the steel should be 22 and a half per minute. So we shouldn't ever get this completely full and messing up everything. Worst case, we'll have to add a couple more trucks with their own routes. Um, so we need one more truck stop here, and I don't have enough QB things. I also need more cable. QB things should be over here. Should be some more. Nope, I've actually used them all. Huh, we're bottlenecking on modular frames. Okay, how quickly are we making... One per minute? Oh no. That means we're definitely going to bottleneck on this. Which means we're going to accumulate steel over here. Which means theoretically that double route would eventually have problems. It's going to take a while though. Um... And I'm curious to see how it plays out. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's do another truck stop. Oh, I need some... Some cable. Right about here. Output goes in here. And then this thing needs some power. Is that going to be clipping? That actually looks sort of reasonable. So the truck is going to drop off here. Uh, that's an unload. And then pick up from here. Looks SW corner, but unsure. SW? Southwest corner. 
southwest corner. Where am I looking? I don't recognize this area at all, and I've fully explored the game. Um, we're near the giant arch that the bird flies under. The big bird. Uh, up there is the pure coal node, and those machines over there are using coal and sulfur. Um, over here we've got one of the better places to get a bunch of iron. Um, there's four normal nodes, two up here and two down here. Lovely grasslands, yes indeed. Okay, so I think we're at the point where we need to make another um, schedule, almost. We've got the drop-off, the pickup. we need two more truck stops. And I can only make less than one. That's not great. We need 30 of these modular frames. I might take a short break while that auto crafts actually. Back in a minute. Okay, where are we? Looks like I've got way too many modular frames. But I'm sure that is a problem that will be solved soon enough. So we're dropping off steel pipe here. We're picking up final product here. Where... You know what, I want to run the experiment. Let's have the trucks go the opposite direction um, down this ramp. That is a big present. So we're going to have another truck stop over here. Actually, we can just... Uh, I'm sure this thing can hold way more than what we need for the space elevator. So we could have this as a shared drop-off. That's going to... If you do that sort of thing, it's going to cause problems eventually. Um, just like in Factorio, if you combine belts or something, you need to have filtered outputs and you need enough storage. And once you run out of storage space for one thing, it's going to block everything else. And as far as I know... As far as I know, it c I could be wrong, and I hope I am. But 
as far as I know, there's no way to regulate, like, connect circuit wire to a chest or something and say, don't put in any more if it's half full or something like that. But for now, we need to make another one of these truck stops. Um, we'll split off the coal, maybe. Nothing weird about this. And we need a uh, steel pipe coming into the input belt. And here's some of that spaghetti. Um, is that... that's input, isn't it? Yeah. We could just do it like this. That should be fine. I do wish it would let me place the pole while I'm dragging the uh, conveyor belt. Because I'm positive that this will be good enough. Whoop, too high. Other than that. One, two. Yeah, it doesn't mind that at all. So this is our target. Does that actually line up pretty well? It's... It looks a little tight over here. I think I would like to not do it like that. That's that's fine. Finally last 50 of versatile framework. Versatile framework, that's uh, this thing, right? Yeah. Well, we actually need 350, but I'm guessing you're talking about your game? Perezus? Alright, so we need some power for this one as well. And. This is a load station. Did you just load that truck? Don't load that truck. Am I gonna have to... I, I thought I had to like manually um, like press X to load, press X to unload while I was recording. But it looks like really you're just recording the path. Which means we need to move this because, well, two reasons. That truck is going to get loaded with pipe, and also the pipe truck is going to get loaded with steel. That's unfortunate. Okay, um, maybe it would be better to put the other truck stop on the other side or something. Although, this output for the pipe is rather convenient. Maybe we could put it down this way? This seems good. Let's do a truck stop. A truck station, rather. Let's get rid of some of this foliage. My inventory is too full to pick up the wood. And I'll need to get some coal. Where's a good way to split, good place to split it off from? I guess this will do. really don't need tier 2 belt for that. Is 
that going to clip through the trees? Yep. Okay. And then pipe. And just go straight over there. Let's remove these random poles. And this is a load station. Where is it going to get power from? Oh, that's pretty convenient. Alright, one more sugar cube. I need some beacons. One, two, three, four, five. And let's go. I put it facing the wrong way. Also, we need some fuel. Also, here is the fuel. Also, it would be easy to turn it around by doing this. Fuel. Okay. Uh, start recording. I don't think we do have to press X to load and unload while we're recording, but I would rather not find out the hard way. Alright, we'll head the same direction here. Do not drive under the truck stop. Wait, can I name the stations? I probably can, right? And up the ramp. At a much better angle this time. Kinda looks like it has a face. Unload. Load. Do a barrel roll? In this thing? How? I mean, I guess if you drove off a cliff at just the right angle. Uh-oh. Oh, I was afraid of this. Oh, no. Um. That was not the... Re of all the results I expected, that was not one of them. I hope... We didn't just record this thing driving halfway down the ramp and then turning around to go back a few meters. We can delete nodes though, so it should be okay. Um, we're about to find out if these things will crash into each other when they're on autopilot. Okay, unload here. And then back to where we started. Glorious collisions. I'm a little worried, I'm not gonna lie. And then we need to go this way this time. load. Path recording completed. Enable... oops. Wait, did I do that wrong? Is it on autopilot? 
I think it's on autopilot. So all that's left to find out now is two things. Will they crash into each other when they're on autopilot? And will the autopilot that I just recorded cause the truck to go backward after it gets halfway down the ramp? It's just like twisted metal. Alright. We're counting on you, truck. It says press E to edit this node, but the only option is to delete it. Which is a lot better than having to re-record the entire thing, to be, uh, to be fair. You could also get rid of a lot of the clutter of the nodes here. Judging by these nodes, as confusing as they look, I fear that we will see uh, our tractor try something of a maneuver. Well, this is working, at least. And here is a few of our final product. It's picking it up. Is the pause necessary? Like, set wait time. Okay. You could probably change the wait time to like one second. So it actually does record the wait time when you're doing a record. Here we go. Okay, we're fine. That's good. No. No, we're not. Um... Okay. Um, are you going to turn around right about now? <laughs> oh no. I think it just destroyed a fruit plant. And now it's completely confused. And here comes the other truck as well. I don't think we're going to see if they'll collide this time. Oopsie. Yes, indeed. I think we should delete, like, almost all of these nodes. And the truck will probably be able to sort itself out. Not this time without assistance, but... Is it actually going to... Uh, you s I just witnessed the truck turning on cheat mode. What the hell? Hacks. <laughs> yes, indeed. They auto snap to the path if they spend too long trying to fix themselves. Okay. I mean, I understand why they would do that, but it's still pretty funny. And last of all, let's make sure that. It is our final product and nothing else that gets brought over here. Also, we have two outputs. Um, I was going to say we should filter it so that we have uh, one output on the one belt and the other on the other belt, but it doesn't work like that. We could have it, um, we could use a couple of smart splitters, use both of the outputs, and what I'm thinking about is eventually we're going to be, we're going to have too many of one resource or the other, and in order to make sure we don't get the belt blocked, 
we need to split it with a filter and send whichever resource we don't want on that belt back to storage. Uh, I'm going to need a couple of limiters. Probably a stupid question, why not have a ramp for up and a ramp for down? Is a Voxifal. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, and yeah, we could definitely do that, but I wanted to run the experiment of seeing if... I didn't actually find an answer to that yet. Um, we answered one of the two questions. Uh, question one, which we haven't answered, is will the autopilot vehicles run into each other? Which I think even if they do... Um, they'll sort themselves out eventually. Uh, the other question is whether, after I bumped into the other sugar cube, uh, whether the AI recording added a node that was behind it where it had to go back, um, and the answer was yes. Let's put that there. And can't afford. Oh, I need rotors. I was going to say, it would be very weird if it allowed me to place that first one, but not the second one. Doing good? How about you? Yeah, not too bad. Okay, so this goes here, and this goes here, and... Uh, front output. How do I... Oh, here it is. I have to scroll down. Okay, cool. So, our final products are called... Something frame, I think? Versatile framework. And... What was the other one? Automated wiring. Can I search? Yeah, yeah. Versatile framework goes this way. Um, I'll do one of those, how you say, stackable conveyor belts. Well, instead of doing one up here, actually, no, I will do it this way. Actually, the Vehicle's going to crash into that. Um, hmm. Oop. Don't want to delete all that. Thank you very much. What if I just... Belt it all over here? Uh-oh. Inventory's full. Why don't I just borrow some of the storage? Okay, so we'll belt all of this over here, just like we were doing before. Don't run me over, please. I think we had a lift. Um, and here we'll have Smart Splitter. I think we need two of them. Just do it like this. And like this. Left is... Versatile framework. And 
automated wiring and everything else go back. That's odd. Why is this one stuck? Oh, uh, do we have to say overflow or any undefined? There we go. Would overflow do the same thing? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. So I guess here we should say center is overflow. Well, no, any undefined. No, overflow is fine. Because sooner or later we'll end up with too much of one resource or the other. Um, so let's grab all of our... Uh, black powder. And then we'll leave this thing to do its thing. Okay, can I speed this up a bit? Give to me all of the black powder, please. Whoops, did I change something? Okay, but why is versatile frame... Left is versatile frame. Center is overflow. Why did versatile frame go through there. Let's pick up all of our black powder, versatile frame, and automated wiring goes back in here. That should connect up again. It is connected. Might speed this up just a little bit. Oh, where did you come from? Alright, that does seem to be working. Except that was a little bit weird. What? Why was there... Did I say overflow, or... I think it should say any undefined. Does does any undefined include the versatile framework if this thing gets blocked or backed up? Any undefined. Okay, so it had these things in storage. That makes sense, I guess. Okay, so if I get rid of this belt right here for a moment. No, that's totally fine. Any undefined will allow versatile framework through here. Uh, as long as it can't go left. Okay. Okay. Let's drop off our final products here. And we have a node or two to delete back this way. And then I want to see if our if our vehicles will work okay. I mean they they are working already. Because even if they just crash into each other over and over, they'll eventually cheat their way through. Whoa, hello. But I think I'll delete all the nodes in the middle of it. 
That's disconcerting. Oh, it's doing this thing now. Okay. Oh, there it goes. And I think this is the node that we were looking to delete. So even if I don't delete the rest of these, it should be okay. But I want to be sure. That should be all it takes. Also, we can change the wait time here. There's no need for it to wait nine seconds. So the last thing I want to witness, which might take a little while, is uh, if if the other vehicle is coming up the ramp while... Well, no, if this vehicle is coming up the ramp while the other one is trying to go down it... Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they just clip through each other, but I think... Well, no, I'm sure. If they do crash into each other, they'll eventually just keep going like nothing happened. But I think it's going to take too long waiting around to see that happen. I'm trying to find an answer to your question. Apparently two years ago there was a bug with smart splitters. Any undefined apparently jammed belts. I'll let you know if the bug was fixed. Hmm. Okay. So that should get our uh, space elevator phase 2 done. Shouldn't have to touch anything else. What should we do while we wait? Research? Let's see if we can do some research. Oh, it might happen. No, it's going to take like a few laps. What's in here? Um, we definitely have some explosive research we can do right now. Oh, we finished it. I forgot. We can do these. That takes three minutes, and then we need 30... Encased steel beams. We should have quite a few encased steel beams by now. I completely forgot about them. That'll make things nice and easy. Here. Do we have any tokens? Probably not yet. Uh, we had a few. No, I think that... How, how long ago was this? Well, in any case, it's going to be a while. How full are we? That's quite a lot, but it's still going to take a long time to accumulate to full. We've got nothing accumulated here. That's um, suboptimal. I can't remember. Oh, in case the beams. I should have made a storage for this. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. Floor is too steep. Let's just... Extend the floor out a little bit. Nothing weird about that. So, unfortunately, 
we got hardly any encased steel beams because we forgot to make storage for them. But a stack is not bad either. Mem research is one minute remaining. Let's have a browse of what else we're going to be doing. I still don't know where to get my cellar. Actually, I may know a place. We need staters and crystal oscillators for this one. Caterium. 50 AI limiters, and we could do power switch. I don't care too much about that. I think we need the space elevator because before we can do any oil products like plastic. Power pole Mark III sounds good. Um, I've got probably a huge amount of... Oh, there we go. Of uh, quartz available. If I just go over and get it. How do I get this, uh... Bix... Bixmas tree branch? Oh, wait. Do I just have to put this in a constructor? Let's find out. Oh-ho. 10 per minute Christmas gifts. Let's do that back at the hub. I figured there was probably something like that that I could already be doing. I just hadn't uh, looked closely enough yet. We've already got another 16 paste industrial beam, that's good. I'm definitely carrying way too much black powder. Um, could I maybe... Is this input or output? This is input, right? If I put a storage thing here, I can dump random stuff into the sink. Yes, fantastic. Get out of my life. That's not going to be worth many points, I'm pretty sure. Well, no, I'm absolutely sure it's not going to be worth a lot. Uh, 50 each is more than I was expecting, though. So, what else? I'm not going to dump these... Could dump a little bit of this. And these. And this. Just tidy up my inventory while getting a tiny amount of points. We should definitely speed this up a bit. Oh, it doesn't... It doesn't work for these. And I can't pick that one up. Okay, then. There we go. Anything else? No. Alright. That is going way faster than I expected. Maybe I should put a sink where the copper products are. Research is done. Let's drop it down here. Expanded tool belt. Nice. And until we get um, oil products, there's nothing left to do in sulfur. We can expand quartz a bit. Uh, oil products. We can do that one as well. 
we need to go get quartz for that. And the micella. Okay. So while we wait for the space elevator, um, the first thing I want to do is head over this way to where I remember being able to get my cellar. Oh, I should make some explosives first. I said after getting rid of all of my black powder. I've got a ton of it sitting in storage though. Okay. And don't forget the Christmas gift stuff. Constructor. Uh, Fixmas tree branch. 500. Sure. Give it a little power. I'm not going to bother making another storage container just to input this stuff. I'm always going to have a stack dedicated to it. What was the other thing? Oh yeah, we need the... Uh, Nobilis. For that we need black powder, and the detonator. For that we need five object scanners. We need 15 beacons. Uh, object scanner. Why did we stop there? How many beacons have I got? Now what? Screws. I think we've got some right over here. Only 50. What about this one? There we go. And then... One more object scanner. Numberless detonate. Now we need cable. Okay, I see how it is. Cable. Uh... Nobilisk detonator. And now we just need black powder and pipe, I believe it is. Yes. Alright. I don't think we have any black powder sitting around here. Nope. Let's go pick it up. I wonder if I can pick this up and not get stopped by it. Not quite. Is that a present on top of the conveyor belt? I do believe it is. Black powder collection is just over here. How much do we actually need? 
Um, oh, I need a equipment shed workshop. Oh, I didn't realize I could save a slot. That, that works. And I can do the same thing with storage containers. Interesting. Okay, that that's a much quicker way to do that. I I should uh, program that into my muscle memory. And I don't have to have anywhere near as many. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, I don't need anywhere near as many things on my quick bar. Alright, that's cool. And it even swaps between Merger Splitter and Smart Splitter. Okay then. For now, let's get some Noblisks. I don't remember what they stack to. Let's grab a stack plus one. I think it was probably something like 20 or 50. Oh, gonna need some more black powder. And now we're running out of pipe. That's okay. 30 is quite a lot. Alright. Where, where is our detonator? There it is. How did I end up with three extra beacons? I'm not pleased with that. All right, let's uh, let's go blow some stuff up. But also, oh wow, okay. Also, I really want to try and find those caves. Those two things might turn out to be the same. Is our other? Oh, it's happening. We're about to find out if they'll crash into each other. I think this one's waiting for this one. Oh. Never mind. Why have you stopped? Okay, we're fine. So they pretty much instantly just decide to phase through each other if they crash into each other. Good to know. Let's go detonate this thing. Now, is it left click to throw or right click to throw? It's l left click throws, right click detonates. Nice. Bit of bacon. Oh, it's just another one of these things. I'll take the bacon. There's also a good Katerium node. I think it... Uh-oh. That was close. I think it's a pure Katerium node. Um, that we need explosives for to the west. Slash southwest. And as for that cave... I believe it's over this way. A gas mask might be a good idea, but I'm pretty sure we can cheese it by consuming health items. Yeah, it's down here. There's a less vertical way to get in there. 
I think it's where this arch is. Nice little landmark. But how do I get down? Also... That's a spitter. And that's a lot further down than I thought. I forgot about these iron nodes. How did he miss me? I should have got hit there. Is that reachable? Well, not with a jump, that's for sure. I'm pretty sure there was a way to get down there without a jetpack or building a ladder or anything like that. That's a funny looking piece of quartz. Here we go. Perfectly safe. I'm not carrying anything limited, right? I'm carrying tokens. That's that's probably a bad idea. Why don't we spend them? I wish I had one more. I should have picked it up. Um, label sign. That seems like a good idea. Let's probably get that. There we go. Oh, look at that. Motivational holiday replacements. Oh no. Okay, I believe I am carrying nothing irreplaceable. Except the bacon. I think there's a finite amount of bacon on the whole planet, but I'm not overly concerned about that. And maybe if I'm afraid of losing something irreplaceable, I shouldn't pick up the slug. Ah! Do not do that when I'm not ready. I just saw a spider stuck in the wall, didn't I? Yep, that's actually really creepy. Ah, I put you... That's cheating! How dare you? <laughs> Don't underestimate the importance of bacon. For the love of God, do not lose the bacon. <laughs> I'm expecting a barbecue. Oh! Um, I got the spider out of the wall. Okay. That was... more tense than it should have been. Bacon. This is probably the path. Oh, that's much easier than I thought. Okay, I'm not worried about losing things anymore. It's not gonna happen. Not in a thousand millenniums. Maybe if I jump near the edge while the game is hitching because it's loading something, though. Okay. I keep thinking I see movement and it's actually the dangly thing on this uh, sword. I think you can get an infinite supply of Sam Ore. Um, I also think I remember reading that it was limited how much you could get per day. And at least back when I was playing before there was nothing you could do with it yet though. Here is the poison. 
Um, I'm 78% sure there's not much of it and we can just run through and heal ourselves. Okay, yeah, we're fine. And then the spiders. Where's the other one? Missed. Ow. I thought you died in one hit. Some more lovely blue mushrooms. And is that what I think it is? Mycella. That's what we came here for. The mycelia within this fungus mycelia. That's not mycelia. That's a spider. Medicine, right in my face. Research. A new research tree can now be accessed in the map. All right. Pick up just about as much of it as I can in one trip. Also, let's check out the man. Why not? My cellia. Medical properties. And we can make inhalers out of it. Plus some metal. We can also use it to make fabric. I think I remember there being... I don't know if you needed it off a hard drive. Um, but there was a way to get infinite fabric as well. Mycelia may be finite, although there's a lot of it. Surely there's something else to research. Oh, here it is. Another way to get the medicinal inhaler. I need 40 cubes. You should also be able to chainsaw those bigger mushrooms. Technically infinite since lizard doggos can spawn it. Ah. That's like everything though, right? Wait, how much more? I think I need 100 cubes, right? I better check how many cubes I need. A hundred. Okay then. Takes a moment to make these ones. Don't know if it's everything. They can spawn a bunch of things, but... Not sure if they can spoil all non-renewables. I wouldn't be surprised if they could, but it's obviously a little slow and not automated. Not that you can normally find bacon or micella in an automated way. It's going to take five minutes. Okay. Onward to probably a giant spider. Is that what I think it is? Oh, it teleported. I haven't fought one of these in a while. Yep, that's a big one. Ole. It's no match for the long jump module. I mean, crouch jump. I think it has an attack pattern where it runs up to you and then does a jump attack, but if I jump at it, it's too quick. Yep, there it is. Nasty thing. Okay. What do you guys think? Should we turn on arachnophobia mode or turn it off? I kind of uh, leave it off. 
I kind of find the arachnophobia mode more scary in a way. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's a uh, uranium. No harvest. And some quartz. And this is the Sam Ore node. And we're actually... I think we're directly below the arch. But we've, we've looked down from up there a few times. Also, there's one of those... Uh, S thingies. Permit. Permit. I am so. Turn it on if we want to burn the planet and leave. Burn the planet at this stage. What? Interactive map. I have not seen it. It is loading. Oh wow, that's many, many locations. And all of the hard drives. Although it still hasn't loaded the background, it's all just on a grey plane at the moment. Alright, we could make a ladder going all the way back up there, but... It's probably not going to quite line up with something. Those things keep making me think there's a spider. This would be a good spot to put a... Uh, what is it called? A hype tube? Easier to keep track of everything. You can upload your map. Oh. Huh. That's cool. Do we need any more micellar? Probably. Probably not, but I would rather not have to come back for it anytime soon. I like those big mushrooms. I think I will leave them be for now. Mycelia, that's how you pronounce it, right? Alright, let's head back. We are half done on uh, the final product for the space elevator. And we've actually finished with the, what is it called, smart wire or something? This is a good, uh, good time to check and see if the... Uh, see if our trick with the smart uh, filter, smart splitter is working. Oops. What is that? Oh, I thought it was a... I thought it was a huge uh, charger moving around, but it's actually one of our sugar cubes. This thing has a little bit of a delay before it works. Oh, let's check this out. Um, what? Well, that didn't work the way that we were hoping for. Luckily, we found it before it blocked the other system. Nice present. Um, I wonder why... If I just block this... Why would that happen? Oh, because... No, wait. We've still got this defined. That doesn't make any sense to me. I think this is just going to clip through, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Give me the gift. Hello, got new inspiration for your wall defense in Factorio? Actually, yes. Uh, throw his hand in the air. <laughs> why would that happen? Why, why indeed, though? 
I set it to priority split ad automated wiring to the left, and then any undefined to the... Oh, I think... Should that have just been any? And this should be any? I think it didn't work when we set it on any earlier. Otherwise I wouldn't have changed it, I think. Nope, this is what I should have done earlier. Just automated wiring any on the right. It, I do find it odd, though, that... Well, I guess I don't, actually. Yeah, no, this is... Any undefined means anything else. Okay. Can't wait to see bot walls supplied by belts. Oh, I actually didn't go for that in the end. I did build a system, it, you can find it, you can find the blueprint on the Discord. Um, I did build a system with the separate robo networks, um, and trying it out, there's too many downsides. Um, and I don't mean there's too many downsides to justify the headache of making it, I mean, after you've got it all working and you've got a blueprint, Multiple fix-it personnel? I don't think that's true. Harvest it. No. Okay. Um, what's next? We're just waiting on... Oh god. I keep forgetting how one of these things instantly killed me and dropped all of my stuff underneath the world. Um, when I tried to ride it. So maybe let's not do that again. Especially while I'm carrying a couple of slugs. Could we maybe speed up the versatile frame production? Probably not. Yeah, let me move. I think now is the time to do a bit more exploring. Let's uh, bank a few of these things first. Power shard. Maybe I should make some more novelists before I go. Uh, didn't mean to pick up the automated wiring. Probably drop that into the... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? The sink. Sooner or later. We should make some more ammo. Grab some more rods. Should be some more over here. Quite a lot more. What else? Drop off some food. Uh, we can drop off the Fixmas gifts. Oh, it's still working its way through the ones I already left here. I guess we could overclock it. Why not? And drop off this stuff. I think I forgot to make sure I was carrying some fuel. Uh, I don't need these bacons. My cellar definitely goes in here. Modular frame. 
maybe I should go pick some up. I think we're bottlenecked on the modular frames, so there won't be any accumulated. I should also get some more plate and concrete, I guess. Better to... T now that I've got plenty of production, it's better to carry extra and dump it if I want to carry something more valuable. So what made you decide not to do it? Then you stopped talking about the wall thing. Oh, sorry. Um, okay, so depending on how many bots you want to have in each cell, you're either going to be building very slowly or you're going to have a lot of idle bots when it's done. Um, additionally, the benefits of building that sort of system, you get most of them just by having a, a buffer chest with a small amount of requests for each possible item. Um, except maybe some low throughput items like uh, some items that you barely ever place like roboports and maybe artillery for example. Um, just don't bother putting the buffer chest requests for those. Uh, you can store those centrally. But just having buffer chests pretty much, and some logistic bots, uh, pretty much gives all the same benefits as having the separate wall sections. And it's really not much of a problem to separate wall sections when you need to. Literally just remove one robopot. Um, I guess we'll go exploring while... Wait, what happened to... I thought I remembered there being a vehicle we could build that was relatively low-tech. Do we need a space elevator for that, or is that unlocked by the um, token system? Let's go check on the sink before we do some more exploring. There's three places I want to go once we do go exploring. Um, I want to pick up the quartz that we've had automatically mining this whole time. I want to go to the big cool cave. Although now that I think about it, it might be better not to go there until I have a jetpack. Um, and I also want to go through that gigantic tunnel that goes through most of the map. Oh. Okay. I thought we were backed up for a second there. Um, what was I doing? The sink. We've got six more coupons. What can we do with them? If nothing cool, then I'm just going to leave them here. Let's put the shop here. Okay. Is there anything that's going to be relevant while we're exploring? I don't think so. Conveyor lift floor hole sounds good. Um, that, that sounds like it's really filling a niche that... Uh, an aesthetic niche that was not there uh, last time I was playing. Having things come up through the floor, it looked very bad no matter how you went about it. It was not backed up, it is just slow satisfactory belts. Yeah. Um, I mean, it is a tier one belt. Ramp uh, inverted corner ramp pack is what I was looking for before, but if I take my tokens, I'll have one left over. I don't want to bother storing them right now. This would be like the worst way you could spend tokens possible. Because they get exponentially more expensive. Um, yeah, I don't see anything pressing. Unless you count the coffee cup. 
Oh, I do like the catwalks. Um, I like these new ones better than these ones as well. They definitely look a lot cleaner, shall we say. Why don't we grab the catwalks and the railing? Give to me the coupons. Uh, yes. And yes. Thank you. All right, let's do some exploring. Response time is advantage of disconnected bot network. If you have the wall completely built and there's a few items in each of the buffer chests, like if, if the bot activity is completely finished and then let's say the wall gets attacked and some things get destroyed, um, you're going to get the you're going to get the bots that are nearest to it picking up items from uh, the closest buffer chest. And as for, like, response time itself, like, if bigger robo-networks, uh, you know, tend to have a slower reaction time, um, I don't think that's necessarily bad because... It keeps the bots from running out and getting killed by the biters and or the flames. Um, those few seconds can be the difference between a bunch of bots getting just completely annihilated and being okay. Question is, how far is the nearest bot? Um, probably in the nearest robot port. Especially after things settle down. Although, you could probably add a system... Hmm... You could definitely add a system that... Uh, takes bots out of roboports, puts them into logistic network chests, and brings them back to, like, a, a central roboport, so that... Hmm. Instead of bringing them back to a central roboport, you have, like, buffer chests, maybe? Uh-oh. You could definitely create a system where you take bots in and out of roboports, based on kind of keeping them all fairly balanced. I wouldn't go as far as to bother with a like balanced loader type of system, but you could set it up so that you have like 10 bots of each type in each roboport, for example. Where is this? Oh, I've never found this place before. There's going to be giant spy. There's nothing. Nope. Okay, let's continue. Exploration is going to be a bit more fun when we've got the jetpack. Much more... Uh-oh. I think we can get around the poison. was expecting the start of Skyrim in that cave? Yes, indeed. Uh, one... Y'all may be familiar with a certain Skyrim video that, uh, among other things, showed a mod that replaced the spiders in Skyrim with bears. That is a sight to behold. Uh-oh. Is 
it's a little bit dark. I preferred the one that replaced the dragons with Thomas the Tank Engine. Yeah, I think, um, I could be wrong, but I think I heard that was, like, unless you know where to look, you can't get that mod anymore because copyright, like, IP or something. I'm not impressed if that's the case. Maybe you all can, maybe someone can, uh, Give me a true or false on that one. Is that? Oh, there's a present falling down there. Do you have Artie in the wall? Yeah, the new version of the wall, I added some artillery. Um, it's... I actually also took the final version of that wall and made a few versions of that blueprint that have not as much stuff. So build the wall in sections and basically get the bots to prioritize things that they should build first. This is where we're going, but I want to take a peek over this way first. I think there's pretty much nothing here, but I could be wrong. Oh, that knockback. Oh. Okay. The only downside I can think of is that if you get attacked non-stop, this would not work. That's true. And also, um... Unless you use belts or trains to get the bots into the roboports, um, if you're if you're gonna just like give them a logistic bot to get them started, um, it is theoretically possible the logistic bots could get killed, and the system would stop working. I mean, that's the way I set it up with my last version of my walls, except we're talking about one network with hundreds of each type of bot, so that's not too likely. Oh, I forgot to... I forgot to turn this on. Uh, arachnophobia mode. There we... There we go. Nothing scary about that. What me cell resupply is slower. But yeah, really good system with buffer chests should be enough in most cases. And basically all differences can be made out by adjusting how many items should be in the network, yeah. Um, I think probably just, like, literally just one or two per chest, or maybe five, but I could be wrong about that, just a bit of experimentation should show what's good there. The more items you put in the buffer chests, the faster construction is going to go, but it's going to be a bit effectively more expensive um, and it's obviously going to be a bit over the top for when the wall is actually finished. I take it back, this is terrifying. Also, I don't particularly want to be beating cats to death. Also, I can't really see where the body is. The, um, the giant spiders are particularly terrifying in this mode. That's my cat monster? Nope, it, it's a spider. Never did anything to any cat. Not even a sprite of a cat. Okay, 
That is a purple slug. Cats. <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, unless they change... Uh-oh. Oh, do we have another... Nope. Unless they change the map significantly, I'm pretty sure you can get all the way to the forest spawning area, more or less. Well, not too far from the forest spawning area. This is uranium. Good to know. And that is a giant spider that just teleported. Um, I can just barely see it in the distance now. I guess it's not going to chase me. Unless I try a little harder to get its attention. Uh-oh. I think I got its attention. And it disappeared again. Um. Okay. Is there anything over this way? Or is that where I came from? That's where I came. Can you count Roboports somehow? Uh. You could select an area like you're going to copy paste. And. Or blueprint it. And it'll. It'll show you the count of each thing. If there's way too many things for you to see, get a deconstruction planner or an upgrade planner. Um, filter it by that item and you should be able to find them pretty easily. Requirement for my wall is... Uh-oh. Where are you going? You're just trying to bait me. I'm not falling for your tricks. Oh, see? Okay, I kind of fell for that trick. Nom, 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 nom. It disappeared again. Um, I hope I'm not going to have to start from scratch killing this thing. Nope, I don't think I did. You can easily just place Combinator with outputs 1 at each Rupert port and connect it. Oh, you mean like dynamically? Yeah, that would work. Do a little dance. Yes, indeed. This is a pretty good route for trucks, I guess. Whoops. I tried to slide jump and it didn't work. If I can jump this easily because the gravity's low, shouldn't the spiders be good at chasing something that's jumping anyway. Dick Durkin, we are going to need bigger guns. Bigger effing guns. Yes, indeed. This is, uh... I forgot how long this tunnel is because... I remember driving through it. Oh, we made it. And here is another gigantic friend appearing abruptly in front of us. Did it just hit itself? I think it did. I think because the fireballs lead the target and I was sliding directly at him, um, he actually hit himself.
I wanted to count RoboPorts and also Global Network. Uh, connect. While well, each cell tracks its own content, possibly with content of adjacent cells. But I abandoned that idea. More important for disconnected cells was to indicate which way is train station. So I can trash items like rocket, uh, rocks, trees, or maybe some accidental overflow of items. Yeah. It's not difficult if you want to trash everything that doesn't go in the network. Just use buffer chests for the things that belong and use a storage chest for everything else. Alternatively, you can do some circuit network stuff and that will allow you to also have specific limits for, um, for each type of item. I forgot something else I was going to say about that. What was it? Oh yeah. I'm still curious as to if it would be UPS costly or something to have a single train station for each cell. Because if not, that's probably the best solution, honestly. You could have the train, uh, the cargo wagon, able to insert directly into or take out of the RoboPort. What is happening with our music? This is a little odd. Also, I'm really going a lot further than I necessarily intended to. Might take a little while to get back. Although we've only got, we've still got 299 versatile frameworks to go. I might have to have a look at the production line there. Seems a bit slower than I thought. Buffer chest is guaranteed to get filtered items, while storage chest with filter is not. And there's only one filter in storage chest. Oh no, I meant for the storage chest you don't have a filter, it's just there. Um, buffer chests will receive specific items and everything else will get taken to the storage chest. Although, now that I think about it, uh, extra items will always also get taken to the storage chest, so you don't actually need... That looks really cool. That part looks less cool. Um, so you don't actually need any circuit network stuff to uh, to get rid of the excess items. Not the storage chests with filters. Can turn off the station if there's no trash to pick up. Yep. And have one station name for all your stations. When trash needs to be picked up, it just turns on the station name. Yep, that's what I've been doing in uh, in my save for trash stops. I actually overthought it for a while because I was using LTN. And then I realized, oh, um... Vanilla is actually better for this use case. Of course, by having LTN, you only gain functionality, but um, it sort of made me overlook using vanilla train behavior. Is this more gas? I really like the look of this place. Ouch. I should probably shoot that one. I think you can use the detonators on them as well. They don't take as much killing as I would have thought.
take the bacon. Really don't like how much kitchen we get going into a new area. Oh, he's doing the the blur speed lines thing. Okay. I don't really want to fight everything I see here. Uh, I remember this place. This is about where I thought it would be. I think there's some coal over here, like up the hill. Which obviously makes this spot amazing for uh, building a coal plant. I've gone way further than I intended to for exploring. I think, um, I think something's broken with our space elevator production, though. Probably a good idea to get back. There's definitely some dangerous stuff in this air, uh, this place. I don't know why, but I remember something here being more scary than just the usual giant spider. Oh, another purple. And a big friend. Ow. I should probably stop missing. Oh my goodness, you can turn faster than I thought. That was a timely gift. Can you stop, please? Okay. Do I have space? I have space. Spooders in the trees? Oh, that's a comforting thought. Where'd the big one go? Oh, there he is. I think I missed. Oh, he's very fast. Uh, I led the target a little bit too much there. Alright. Into the air with you. What was that? Oh, presence again. I definitely remember there being some places where, just because of the terrain, it's a lot worse having to deal with spiders. Um, hopefully I don't go anywhere that's particularly bad to be without a jetpack or something. I saw the bacon, I don't really want to turn around for it. Oh, hello. Let's head back. Another purple. Oh, and a big spider. I don't feel like it. Radiation. That's not what I'm looking for. And is that another big one? 
I think it was. Can I get up here? Visibility in that area kind of sucks. Where are we going? Oh, explosives required. Let's head that way, but without jumping off a cliff into the void. Gotta be careful here. I don't know how good of an idea it is to go this way without jetpack. Maybe we can go around a little bit. I don't want to lose all the stuff I got. Also, where is my quartz? Oh, it's over here. Let's go there first. Um, I know there's some giant spiders in really awkward low visibility places on the way there, but that's the quickest way to get back to where I know what's going on. Where is it? Oh, I went past it. So it's underneath. Um, oops. Hopefully no giant spiders here. Nope, just a charger that wants to knock me off the edge. Oh god. Okay. I don't think I want to go that way. I think I'm going to have to fight this charger just to... Is that two big ones? It's two big ones. Nope. I hope I don't get low on ammo. 29. Ow. Should be enough. Okay, we're fine. Are you stuck? It's okay, you can tell me if you are. You can't hit him through there. With melee, that's weird. Okay, where is the loot? Comply. There it is. Alright. Time to find a safe way down from here. If there is such a thing. That's where we're trying to go. Okay, I think we can go this way. And hop. That was maybe a bit excessive. Careful. Careful. Is that our cave? think it might be. I don't think I'll be doing a daring jump over to there right now. This one, on the other hand, not so bad. We could probably... Uh-oh. Ow. That was close. Closer than expected. Again. In almost exactly the same spot. 
where I dropped down to half a bar of health last time. Alright, that is... how much fuel do we have left here? 64. I'll do what I should have done last time I was here. What's the rate? 120 per minute times two. Quartz crystal. Thirty-seven point five per minute. Six point four. Okay, so we would have to do three machines each and underclock them if they're. Well. I'm not even concerned about the ratio. I would like to make it go slow so we get more out of the fuel, kind of. I'm pretty sure it stacks better if we do it this way. Five raw quartz becomes three quartz crystal, but does it stack to the same size? Well, we're going to find out. So how long does it take? Uh, that long. It's going to take a little while to find out the stack size. Oh, I've actually gone over time. I didn't even realize. Alright, uh, I guess we'll look for someone to raid. And that'll be it for today. Not a whole lot going on with Factorio, it looks like. What about Satisfactory? Time flies when you're having fun, apparently. take care. Uh, does anyone have suggestions or requests? I, I actually have no idea who to raid today. Hey, Rorosaur. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm afraid you come, you've come in just as we're finishing up today. This one's joinable. Let's have a look. Oh, of course it's throwing ads at me. Gosh darn then. Yeah, rip. Alright, I think we'll just take a gamble on a Factorio stream. Could you move to my time zone? Okay, thanks. Uh, I don't think... I don't think I could afford that very easily right now. Bodge the bodge. Alright. Bodge the bodge. Oh no, Salford Sal. Uh, we're just finishing up, like right now. <laughs> Thank you for the raid though. Uh, we were just gonna push it forward. Ooh, satisfactory, yeah. Uh, that's my variety day stream for now. All right, thanks for dropping by guys. Um, how did your stream go by the way? And I think we're going to give Bodge the Bodge a bit of a scare now. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. 
and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're interested. Uh, if you have requests or if there's anything broken, you have questions, by all means let me know. But for now, uh, thanks for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Welcome uh, Death13A, Razfane, Raid Train Let's Go, by all means. Alright, all aboard.